the top 12 attractions in Alberta, Canada. Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. So I have been getting heaps of suggestions to look up Alberta, Canada. I'm familiar with Banff and Jasper National Park. I know that they're located in Alberta, but there are so many things I'm really looking forward to learning about. But before we jump into the video, please make sure to get on and hit that subscribe button. That would really help me out. Okay, the top 12 tourist attractions in Alberta, Canada. Let's go. Welcome to the land where the gorgeous snow-capped high peaks dominate the stunning skyline and prairies meet the stunning mountains. Alberta is the fourth largest province of Canada by both land area and population. It is full of epic places to visit including over 600, gorgeous lakes, prairies, desert badlands, sky-high mountains, vast coniferous forests, and five UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Alberta is home to two of the world's oldest national parks, which are drawing millions of tourists from all around the world. Other than that it offers a bundle of winter and summer outdoor recreation and tons of happening places. So come join us this is Scenic Hunter's truly delightful journey to find the top 12 places to travel in Alberta, Canada. Number 12, Edmonton. Edmonton is the capital of Alberta, located in the heart of the wilderness. It is the northernmost city in North America. Edmonton is a happening city with year-round festive fun. So it was designated as Canada's festival city. Edmonton is a perfect destination to collect lifetime memories. North Saskatchewan River Valley, the Royal Alberta Museum, Elk Island National Park, the Art Gallery, Fort Edmonton Park, Edmonton Valley Zoo, West Edmonton Mall, World Water Park, and Ice Castle are some of the popular places of the city. Okay, so Edmonton, that mall, I've heard about that mall and I've had suggestions to look into that mall. So that's a video for the future. I'm really, really excited to find out why people are saying you need to watch a video and react to this mall. I'm guessing it must be some super huge mall. Edmonton, in general, it looks like a beautiful, historical old city. Absolutely beautiful. It doesn't look like it's very modernised. The skyscrapers and the city dwellings look older, not as new as Toronto or Vancouver. A beautiful, historical city. I love it. Number 11, Abraham Lake. The bright blue Abraham Lake sits in the foreground of foothills and the Rocky Mountains on the Kootenai Plains area. The lake is famous for millions of methane ice bubbles that are frozen inside the mystical body of water during the winter months. So you can walk on the surface of the lake to experience this magical beauty. The lake is super windy. However, you can do fishing, hiking, wildlife viewing, and camping in the surrounding area. Oh my gosh, those ice bubbles, they just look incredible. You can walk on on top of those? Leave a comment. Have you been there? Have you walked on them? Do you have some pictures? They said you can go ice fishing there as well. What do you do? Stand on top of the ice bubbles and do some fishing? That looks incredible. I've never seen anything like that before. That is really, really awesome. Are they there all year round, the ice bubbles? Do they melt? Leave a comment. Let me know. Number 10, Kananaskis Country. Kananaskis Country is located in the foothills and front ranges of the majestic Canadian Rockies west and southwest of Calgary and bordered by the Banff National Park and Canmore. It is also popular as K-Country among local Albertans. The Kananaskis Country is famous for its diverse park system. The area offers various fun activities including horseback riding, whitewater rafting, hiking, camping, golf vacations, biking and fishing during the summer, and skiing, dog sledding, snowboarding, snowshoeing, winter hiking, and snowmobiling during the winter. Wow, you can 
do something there all season round, can't you? Dog sledding. Why am I so excited to try dog sledding? I've mentioned before that I have a husky. I reckon he would love it over there. Not quite too sure how I'd get him over there. It just looks beautiful. In the springtime, the trees look beautiful. And then in winter, I'm guessing all the mountains are just covered in snow. Number nine, Vermilion Lakes. The Vermilion Lakes are a series of lakes and a network of marshlands that are located immediately west of Banff National Park. The three lakes are started in the Bow Valley at the foot of the beautiful mountain. The area is picture perfect during golden hours of the day. Serene mountain scenery, a diverse array of wildlife spotting opportunities, canoeing adventures, and breathtaking hiking trails await at the lake in the foothills of the majestic Canadian rock. It looks absolutely beautiful. Back before I was reading in the subtitles, what is snowshoeing? I think that's what it said. I have no idea. Please leave a comment and tell me what is snowshoeing. There was snowboarding and snowshoeing. Number eight, Drumheller Badlands. Drumheller is a beautiful town located on the Red Deer River in the Badlands of the East Central section of Alberta. Drumheller Badlands is a well-worthy destination in Alberta that offers something incredibly unique. The Badlands were created long ago when the glacier floodwaters carved the Red Deer Valley. The area has rich deposits of dinosaur bones and fossils which are dated back millions of years ago. The Horseshoe Canyon, Dinosaur Trail, Royal Tyrell Museum, World's Tallest Dinosaur, and Midland Provincial Park are some of the top-rated attractions in this area. My mind's just going back 60 million years ago and just seeing dinosaurs towering over all these mountains and all these fossils. That looks really, really cool. I have heard about a museum there, a dinosaur museum somewhere in Alberta, Canada. Guess I know where it is now. There's a video for the future. Number seven, Calgary. Calgary is the largest city in Alberta. The city is located on the southern side of the province at the confluence of the Elbow River and the Bow River in a transitional area between Canadian prairies and Rocky Mountain foothills. Calgary Tower, Heritage Park Historical Village, Sightseeing Bus Tour, the Calgary Zoo, Prince's Land Park, Bow River, and the Bonus Park are some of the notable sites in the city. Wow, so Calgary is the biggest city in Alberta, but Edmonton is the capital. Calgary looks a lot more modernised than Edmonton, doesn't it? Looks beautiful, nice big city. It sort of reminds me of Sydney, Australia, our largest city, but not the capital. The capital of Australia is Canberra. Number six, Icefields Parkway. Icefields Parkway is a scenic route that runs through Banff National Park and Jasper National Park. It is a 232 kilometers long double lane highway that winds along the Continental Divide. The scenic highway runs through ice fields, vast sweeping valleys, soaring rocky mountain peaks, over 100 ancient glaciers, dramatic rock spires, emerald lakes, cascading waterfalls, and a thick pine forest. So take your time to feel and capture the breathtaking beauty of viewpoints because the abundance of wildlife and untouched natural landscapes are at every turn on the way. What an incredible drive to do. It was about 232 kilometers. Let me know. Can you do that in one day? Is there like pit stops, like truck stops, service stations, things like that? Little tourist spots where you can just travel and have something to eat the side of the road? Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. It looked like a beautiful drive and I'm so excited to do it. Number five, Waterton Lakes National Park. Waterton Lakes National Park is the fourth Canadian national park. It is located in the southwesternmost corner of Alberta and ranges between Rocky Mountains and Prairies. The park shares its boundaries with British Columbia and Montana in the United States. Even though Waterton is open all year round, its main tourist season lasts from July to August. The park dazzles with extraordinary serenity, spectacular sceneries, picture-perfect tree-lined coasts, easygoing wildlife, sunny weather, and botanical delight during the season. 
Wow, easygoing wildlife. Does that mean you can pitch a tent and camp there during the spring or during the summer? It looks beautiful, but yeah, like I said, can you camp there? Can you pitch a tent or will the grizzly bears get you? Leave a comment, let me know. Number four, Moraine Lake. Moraine Lake is a glacier-fed lake outside the Lake Louise Village in Banff National Park. The lake lies in the valley of the Ten Peaks at 1,884 meters above sea level. You can explore several hiking trails while experiencing the view of the lake from the top of the rock pile, which is one of the most photographed locations in the whole of Canada. One of the most photographed locations in the whole of Canada. I can see that being one of the most photographed locations in the entire world. That just looks absolutely beautiful. I've learned so much about Lake Louise and Banff National Park. Sign me up. I will be there. There's a beautiful little chateau there on Lake Louise. I think it was the Lake Louise Ski Resort. Oh my gosh. It looked incredible. Not sure how expensive it is to say that. Maybe we'll just walk in and get some pictures and walk out. We'll see how we go. Number three, Lake Louise. Lake Louise is a famous turquoise lake that offers a perfect reflection of the surrounding mountain. It is the jewel of the Banff National Park. It is a major tour and attraction in the whole of Canada. The turquoise blue water of the lake is due to melting water from the majestic glaciers that overlook the stunning lake as well as the tiny Lake Louise Village and Lake Louise Ski Resort are open for its travelers. The Lake Louise Ski Resort, that's its name. Oh my gosh, it looked so beautiful. Please leave a comment, tell me all about it. Have you been there? What was the view like? How much did it cost? I need to know all these things because Lake Louise Ski Resort, I want to stay there. If these are the sort of views that you get from Lake Louise of all the mountains and the glaciers, oh my gosh, it looks absolutely incredible. When's the best time to stay there? Obviously during the winter or is there snowfall all year round? Leave a comment, let me know. Number two, Jasper National Park. Jasper National Park is the largest national park in the Canadian Rockies and stretches over 11,000 square kilometers in Western Alberta. Jasper is home to Athabasca and Brazo River Valleys with magnificent lakes, waterfalls, hot springs, and canyons. Numerous glaciers are scattered in the park, the most highlighted of them is the Columbia Ice Field. The park offers a perfect collection of wildlife and both permanent and migratory birds. Jasper is perfect for thrill-seeking travelers as well. The park is a part of UNESCO's Canadian Rocky Mountain Parks World Heritage Site due to its incredibly diverse wildlife. I recently did a video on Banff and Jasper National Park and learned about all the wildlife on the Canadian Rockies. Wow, just incredible. The bears, the goats, the seals, the ducks. There was just so many different types of animals that I have never seen before absolutely beautiful and you find them all in these little national parks at the canadian rocky mountains <laughs> sign me up get a camera click click number one banff national park banff national park is the first national park in canada scenic mountainous landscapes nestled in the heart of the magnificent canadian rockies a traveler can marvel at the deep blue waters of picturesque lakes walk along the breathtaking jagged peaks lined pathways and breathe the fresh air of the heavenly scented flower fields you will frequently see black bears grizzly bears caribou wolves and elks along the way other than that it offers plenty of outdoor activities including hiking white water rafting golfing wildlife watching biking climbing fishing and skiing to attract tourists all year round Alberta, Canada, what a beautiful province you are. The mountains, the skyline, the lakes, just beautiful. Your capital city, Edmonton, what a beautiful little city. Doesn't look like it's as modernized as Calgary. Looks very, very beautiful. Calgary, wow, didn't that look modernized? 
Calgary reminded me of Sydney, Australia, so much. We've also got a big tower that looked like Calgary had. Not sure what it was called, but you can go up there in a lift and you see the sky point of Sydney. I'm guessing that would be the same as Calgary. I loved that video. Um, learning a lot about Alberta. Going to break it down and learn more about Edmonton and Calgary and this mall. I've heard somewhere there is a mall in West Edmonton that I have to learn about, so I stay tuned for that video. Okay, that's the video for today. If you liked it, please smash the like button, leave a comment, and remember to subscribe. That would help me out. Cheers from Down Under. Take care. Bye.